Good morning, everyone. We didn't have any more rain overnight. We stopped at the just a smidge over one inch. So things are drying out. It feels excellent out here this morning. It's in, it's 60 something. And um, yeah, it feels great out here. And the humidity might be up, but because it's so darn cool, it's just still, and there's a little breeze right now. Like I said, excellent out here. Where are you headed, Stripey? Hi. Okay, you go in there and check out stuff. <laughs> Let me get these guys fresh water because whenever it rains, it really puts a lot of plant and yard debris in the water bowls. And Well, I change them out most every morning anyway. It's a process. They have more water bowls than they need, but they won't go without fresh water. <laughs> and here's Mr. Man. I'm sure Marty will come up and crowd him in a minute. Are you, are you all excited to see me? Well, I really like that. First step out on the porch, I don't see any sickness. <laughs> so that's really good. Hi. Hello. Hi, bud. Keeping it simple. I gotta go get a chicken and cook a chicken. Although I have packages in the freezer now. I could have got out and I just didn't think about it. Well, it's um perked up a little bit from the rain. Yep. We were probably going to have to stake it anyway. So Don fixed my wind chimes. Fixed a little bird bath. That um, Sasanqua Camellia now is probably going to really pick itself back up with that tree hanging over it. That's where Blaze rests, our, our dog. Um, so cool. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Hello. Did I tell you guys that Johnny went to his dad's until... Next, this coming Saturday, until Saturday, I can't remember now. Yeah, after his friend left Friday, his dad came and picked him up for the week. Wow, look at the pretty hi uh, hibiscus. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yep, it's looking nice today. I was going to say that um, Don and I were looking and the wet bulb temperature <laughs> is 63, which is... Wet uh, bulb globe globe temperature yeah. okay yeah. get that right weather That's girl right. huh Gotta get it right yeah all i was gonna say is it gets to a point in the year and donnie's don's probably actually ready for it to get to that point yeah. where it gets too uh hot and sweaty and mosquitoey to work outside much right today's not one of those days right. it's not got there yet this year so right. we're uh gonna do stuff out in the yard again today yeah well this is the temperature where they tell you know if you're working outside uh, you know, there's real consequences of being out in the sun. And today's uh, not that not day. Today, yeah, the, uh, below 79 degrees, it doesn't matter how sunny it is, how humid it is. If it's below this temperature, which is a mixture of solar radiation, the t air temperature, the dew point, relative humidity, several things. If you go to, what is it? WBGT. Search on WBGT, wet bulb globe temperature. If you search on that, you'll find it. It's, it's a real thing. I'm going to put up the chart right here so y'all can see the chart that we were looking at. Uh, right. it, Don likes to use it as a, well, we probably should be careful on our walk today. Right. It's, it's in, <clears throat> if you're exercising or working out in the sun, you need to be careful. Yeah, there's a black day. Like, uh, the if the wet bulb globe temperature is over 89 or 90. Yeah, 90 and it, once it gets above 96, <clears throat> you probably just need to put it off to some other time. Yeah. And it can be over, uh, I mean, over 86. It can get over 86 and it still be less than 86 air temperature because of the humidity can it's kind of like the con feels like. Yeah, I guess your body can't sweat as good. It keeps you hotter. That's right. You run hotter. There's a little more health risk for right. certain groups, especially. So, yep. 
anyway it's pretty and we're not walking because yeah, we're going to do know. yard stuff it's yeah, great out it's here a right good now day to work outside that's yeah right. yeah there's probably not many more of these days left well, we're right. getting near memorial yes. day and that's uh, a turnover point so right. yeah i'm gonna pull stilt grass and i'm gonna put myself sort of close to where don's gonna work because he's gonna start out there um you know versus me working up by the heat pump um there's plenty to do everywhere, so I just pick a spot and go. He doesn't, per se, need my help with that. I mean, maybe when he puts the plant in the hole, but probably not really. And if he comes over here to work on this, the leveling part's a one-person job. So I'd just be doing other stuff in the vicinity. Sure, be right there. Well, I'm delighted with it. Yeah. It looks really good. Uh, it's a two-person plant job, one uh, person. Uh, correction, two-person, one cat. <laughs> right, he, Marty came down here and started giving us orders. He started inspected. meowing. He inspected, let us know what he thought of it. That's right. Japanese Holly Hilary, H-E-L-L-E-R-I. And um, yeah, uh, Don held the, the plant back while I pushed the dirt in around it. It, it was really took two people to do it proper. And um, it easily took it would have taken two bags to fill it up. The pot was a big pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that took up, and that's about how much is left in this bag. The second bag. So I don't know anything about the math. Just didn't cubic inches. Didn't right, end. but we got another place where we need dirt. It'll be okay. Well, no, I, I bought this many. It's just that when I looked at that, and it, you know, it said that the one cubic foot was going to easily fill that up. And it's like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I, yeah, it's hard to so say. I'll check my math. So it's 11 inches radius on the inside. Uh huh. And it's a, about 11 inches tall. No workable area because the notches, the, the boards are only 12 foot. And what's the pot? Inches. I have no idea. I think they call that like a three gallon pot. Of course, it wouldn't hold three gallons if it's Well, I'm just saying on. you have to do the uh, volume of both uh, cylinders. Well, I was doing cubic inches. <laughs> me when it's two or three dollars a bag i just go buy some dirt and make sure i got more than enough right. and i don't do that math yeah. engineer yeah. i'm still working my way around pulling stilt grass <clears throat> and a few pieces of poison ivy and a lot of wild grapevine don's over here now working on uh leveling up laying down the first layer, which is the hard layer of the stones. He's probably hitting every root and every rock we have in the yard. That is correct. Yeah. You don't want to have it any other way. Well, at least they won't move. They won't. Once you get them put, they won't move. That's right. They won't. Hey there. So I'm trying to get this stone level. This is the lowest one. I don't want it. I just want it barely in the ground. I mean, just hardly any at all because all the other ones are cut into the ground more and more in fact probably will stop won't even go all the way with the first course because those will be below grade and I'm not gonna bury them sure I'm just gonna right yeah. well this wall won't have any appreciable weight that we need this to worry about a, a load or not right this wall comes down is not gonna fall on people wash the house away right or anything this is just decorative, decorative yep Hey! Yeah, well, I was got the first one done, and then I put the second one done, so that makes a nice little set seat I can set. <laughs> so, um, what I do is, um, I leveled up that, this is the, the very first stone, that one right there. And I got it level, and then I just went this way, using my level, and uh, leveled it out. What I did is, I dug down, like, no more than I had to, uh, Let's say I give it an inch below the bottom of the stone I was going to lay. And I put the dirt in over here. And of course, it's nothing but rocks. Yeah. And that's all it is. It's just rocks. So I sifted it out and got the, just the, the soil. Then I used the soil to level, to, because you're supposed to use sand, but I ain't going to buy sand. I don't want to spend any money. Um... So I used the soil and leveled it up and packed it with a hammer and a piece of wood, beat on it, and um, 
then when I got it close, I put the stone in there and then I beat on the stone to um, get the stone set. So this one I'm fixing to lay. See, that's about as deep as I'm going to get, although it looks like there's a root there I'm going to have to take care of. But then I'll just fill in with soil there. And then this stone will be a half a stone onto the dirt. Uh, and then I'll probably the third course will be one more half a stone onto the dirt and uh, same thing that way so we may have a couple more rocks than we needed because I only got um, two four six two four five instead of but eight. it's gonna be six again mm -hmm. yeah yeah six so I only put six stones on the bottom instead of eight because you need about you need two stones to continue to flare it out in other words at least a half a stone on one end and a half a stone so they always have two stones more Anyway, the bottom line is it's coming along. It's looking awesome. Yeah. Hopefully. But he's been fighting rocks. Seriously yeah. fighting yeah. rocks. Yeah. It, what's not rocks is dirt. And what's not rocks, I mean, what's not rocks is roots. Root. And what's not rocks or root, it's just really muddy soil. So, you know, it's just fun. Oh, yeah. Anything to do with dirt is fun, right? <laughs> I just been pulling stilt grass and anything else that there was that there wasn't supposed to be so the other side of the log all up and down the log the other side of the forsythia here out of uh, up along the bank over there and um i don't know three and a half hours of bent over pulling is about my limit for today i am uh going in to do a couple things and get dinner going as somebody's going to be done and then they're going to want to feed me. That's exactly right. <laughs> you see me walk through the door and head to the shower, you need to be serving it up. <laughs> well, we're on target for six. <laughs> I'm headed to the house. You coming? I tried to get Tux to come hang with me today and he went back up to his spot. Said, nah, I don't think so. Marty was down there a long time. Marty was, Marty's a good yard buddy. But even he's back up in his chair now. I can last longer than the cat. <laughs> oh, I love this hill. This hill is so much fun. It is. It's just a joy. All right, there it is. Uh, three courses. The first course didn't make it all the way around. The block cut into the bank. So the second course I continued on a little bit further. And then the third course was actually the original so I guess there's ten stones on top two four six eight nine so it's actually only nine stones even on top if I can count yeah anyway um, it went okay uh, this little bit of dirt right here I put in that hole it's all the dirt I had left over so now uh, she'll will have to go get topsoil or something so uh, something under three dollars a cubic foot so um, you can do the math um, I had uh, seven blocks left over uh, we'll probably just hang on to them and do something with it um, you know um, who knows uh, but hey I think uh, she'll like it and uh, it looks pretty good so her oak leaf hydrangea is uh is blooming it's pretty pretty neat huh no deer ate it i forgot about community day oh well you better go but you know what i enjoyed day. working in the yard with you oh, so yeah. but i'm gonna go try to get a couple That's shinies right, work in the yard community day which would i rather do <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Probably community day. <laughs> well, it sure is looking good. The new bed, the bridge, Don's maple tree, and uh, the gnome home. <laughs>